the mama got a hold on me the way that pussy take control of me all right guys so check this out i went ahead and set up the session real quick all you got to do is basically find your beat that you want to utilize you know go to your downloads and then you pretty much find that beat and you can drag it into the session and you'll be good to go and what i have set up right here is my vocal track so all you need to do is go to the top go to track go to new track pull in the audio track make sure that you are utilizing the input from your audio interface and go ahead and hit create if you are unsure if you are utilizing your interface go to garage band preferences and then go to this audio track here and make sure that devices says your audio interface okay Mine is a universal audio, so that's what I'm going to be using. Just make sure that you choose your interface for the input and the output, okay? And what I have set up here is the auto-tune, okay? I have Antares auto-tune, and basically what you need to do to go ahead and get a vocal set up, I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. These are the plugins that I have set up on this track, and I'm going to tell you about this in a second, okay? And a lot of this stuff really except these plugins right here, the saturator, which is free. The saturator comes with Melda plugins. I definitely recommend that you guys download Melda plugins uh, because they're free and you get like 37 plugins or something like that. So it'd be really cool to utilize it inside a garage bin. And then a de-esser, I got that from Waves. You don't really have to worry about that. I really want to focus on utilizing plugins inside a garage bin so you guys aren't stressed out. So this is what you guys need to do. What I'm going to do is mute this track here and I'm going to just experiment with this track up here. Okay. Now let's go to that track. You should be hearing two different feeds right now. And we're just going to pull in the plugin. So we are going to go uh, no plugin. So you guys know. So what you need to do is go ahead and hit B. And then if you want to hear yourself in your microphone, then go ahead and utilize uh, this button right here and put monitor in. This is solo and this is mute. OK, so what you want to do is go ahead and hit B and then click plugins down here. OK, now, if you can't see it, then you can just click some of these buttons up here uh, and, and you'll kind of see some different parameters. This is a help module if you need that. And basically all you do in this situation is just go ahead and hit B. And your plugins would be right here. Okay, so you just click this little arrow and you go down and you find your Antares Auto Tune. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to utilize Melda as well because it's free. So I figure why not? Okay, so in this particular case, we're gonna go ahead and pull up Auto Tune. If you have Auto Tune, uh, whether you have uh, Meta Tune, whether you have uh, Melodyne, Melda Productions, whichever one that you may have, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to utilize it. So automatically you're going to have like some delay. So let me go ahead and turn the master echo off. And what we're going to do is go here, go to use low latency. That's going to help with some of that latency that you have when you're recording. It gets pretty annoying. I know, but there's not too much you can do about it. Okay. That knob in here will actually help you while you're recording. Use low latency to kind of take that latency away. So what you want to do in this particular case is you want to go ahead and worry about focus on these few parameters, the input type, whether you're going to be soprano, alto, tenor, low male instrument, bass instrument. OK, for me, I'm an alto tenor. OK, um, then you want to also focus on a key and you want to focus on a scale. OK, uh, in this particular case, if you want to use an auto key or whatever to try to figure out what the key of the song is, go ahead and do that or just use a, utilize a keyboard. Or if you know anything about music theory or something like that, you probably know. But I'm gonna show you how to utilize your ears, okay? So we're gonna play the beat. Okay, so what I like to do, I like to always start off with minor. It's either minor or major for me. And then what I like to do is just go ahead and set the retune speed. So with the retune speed, if you want to sound more robotic, then go ahead and set it up uh, to a faster retune speed so you can hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this is more natural, like your regular voice, okay? So what you want to do is just go ahead and do a quick vocal, and I'm going to show you that right now. All right, so now I'm going to switch back over. All right, guys, so now check this out. In this particular case, what you can do is like, 
turn the retune speed all the way down to zero so it can make it really auto-tunish and robotic so you can basically see if it's going to tune the vocals and hear it more clearly okay when you turn it back to like halfway that's going to be less robotic less auto-tuned so it's really going to be more of your natural voice and then the higher you go on the number it's just basically uh going to be more natural just sound more like you okay so we're going to turn the retune speed all the way up okay now, humanize us to sound more human-like, okay? And then natural vibrato is like, ah. Uh, that natural vibrato, if you don't want to hear all that, then you can go ahead and cut it back. If you want to add a little bit more, then you go ahead and add more. And I'm making this really simple. I already got like a really good auto-tune vocal uh, video out there for you guys. So go ahead and learn something. So just go watch that, okay? So now, in this particular case, what we're going to do is just auto-tune that vocal and it happens to be F sharp. That happens to be probably the best key uh, to be in for this song. Gonna click on the track to record and hit R. Yeah. We gon' ride tonight. We gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will, she knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, so let's focus on that. Yeah. We gon' ride tonight. We gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will, she knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Good. Okay, so now we're going to add a double to that. Command D. Two. Yeah. We going to ride tonight. We going to vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, we're doubling that to make it more full. Yeah. We gon' ride tonight. We gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She know she in control. She Got me in my feels. Okay, so now you don't have to use that whole vocal. We're gonna take that one and cut it down. Yeah. We gon' ride tonight. We gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, so now we're going to try to do uh, a filler. So we're going to take this one and we're just going to put lead vox fill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We going to ride tonight. We going to ride. We going to vibe tonight. We going to vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. real. The way she Take that will. will, she know she in control, control. she got me in my feels, feels. Yeah. yeah, 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 we yeah. gon' ride tonight, we gon' ride, we gon' vibe tonight, we gon' vibe tonight, yeah, I know she real, real. the way she take that will, will. she know she in control. control, she got me in my feels, feels. yeah. Yeah. And then for that last part, I kind of want to go down, so I'm going to just change it to. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay. 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 Got me in my feels. I like that a lot better, okay? So I'm going to keep that. So now I want to set up one more track. Command D. And we are gonna put harm for harmony. Got me in my feels. 
going to turn cycle on and off, which is like a loop. Highlight this part, cycle on and off, okay? And hit R. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gon' ride tonight. We gon' ride. We gon' vibe tonight. We gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that wheel. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, so you just kind of want to figure out a harmony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gon' ride tonight, we gon' ride, we gon' vibe tonight, we gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real, the way she take that wheel, she know she in control, she got me in my feels. And that's pretty much how you would do that, quick, simple, fast. Now, I would love to double up on those harmonies twice so I can pan them and left and right for the stereo image, okay? So we're gonna hit Command D. And we are going to name this one Harm 2. All right. And let me just listen to it again just to make sure I'm right. We're going to ride tonight. Yeah. We're going to ride tonight. Yeah. 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 We're going to ride tonight. We're going to ride tonight. Yeah. 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 We're going to ride tonight. Okay, so now that we got that, let's go ahead and pan it. We gon' ride tonight. We gon' ride. We gon' vibe tonight. We gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that wheel. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. We're just gonna turn that down. We gon' ride tonight. We gon' ride. We gon' vibe tonight. We gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that wheel. She know she in control. So I'm taking that ad lib and panning it to the other side a little bit, like seven or something like that. So it's not dead in the center. You don't want everything dead in the center because it'll go ahead and create distortion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gon' ride tonight. We gon' ride. We gon' vibe tonight. We gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that wheel. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, so that's good. That's good, okay? All right, guys. So I don't. So now that we went ahead and recorded some vocals real quick utilizing the auto tune, now we can go in and talk about some of those plugins that I went ahead and added to the vocals, okay? So let's just go ahead and listen to it one more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gon' ride tonight. We gon' ride. We gon' vibe tonight. We gon' vibe tonight. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that wheel. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, so you see how easy it was to go ahead and record vocals inside of GarageBand utilizing Auto Tune. Now, here's the thing. Um, there's obviously things that I did to make the vocal sound even better. And let's just go ahead and dive into that really quick. So what I did in the process was I went ahead and added some EQ and I rolled off some of the low end. So I didn't have a lot of that muddiness in my vocals and I took away some of the low mid frequencies as well. So it took away some of that bass out of my vocals. So my vocals can actually sit in a mix a lot better. I added a little bit of the mids, a little bit of the high uh, mid frequencies and then I rolled off the top end with the first EQ because I don't want the sharpness or the presence of my vocals to stand out initially right away okay so let's just go ahead and turn all these plugins off real quick so you can hear what my plugins actually did so here here we go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we gon' ride tonight we gon' vibe tonight yeah, I know she real. The way she take that wheel. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. 
Okay, so that's the vocal by itself. It doesn't sound terrible, but it just lacks that presence that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and cut the plugins back on. So I'm, we're just gonna go ahead and focus on that particular part. So let's go ahead and listen to it real quick again. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, now watch this. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, so the vocals stand out a lot more with my plugins on there. The vocals stand out a lot more with my plugins on there. I'm not using anything special, guys, at all. Like, don't don't trip out, okay? So in this process, as you can see, I'm utilizing that EQ, like I said, and then I went on top of that, and I just went ahead and added a compressor inside of GarageBand, okay? It's not a Waves compressor or none of that. Check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on each plugin one at a time. So let's just listen to the auto-tune with the EQ by itself. Check it out. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. That's not bad. Now let's go ahead and add that compressor. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. Without she it. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Again, without it. Yeah, I know she real. The way she with take it. that will. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Now I don't know if you can notice, but with the compressor. The compressor still sounds the same, right? But my vocal sounds more compressed, it sounds more present, and it sits better in the mix, okay? That's what I was able to accomplish with this compression. Now, I'm gonna let you know right off the bat, uh, with the compression, you have to really get your vocals compressed to a point uh, to where you kinda understand exactly what you're doing with this. So let me just go ahead and do this. Uh, we're gonna save this as a vibe. U UDE Vibe EQ, I mean compressor, how about that? Okay, so now check this out. <clears throat> if I was to go back and just take that out and do it again, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that real quick. So if I go in there real quick and I find uh, Dynamics and I go to Compressor. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do is get this vocal compressed to where any of the dynamics that are out of control, some things that are too low or too high, the compression is basically gonna set a threshold, okay? And with the threshold, anything that's too low is gonna bring it up, and anything that's too high is gonna compress it down. With everything within that, that threshold or that range, we're gonna reduce it, and then whatever we reduce, we're gonna give it back uh, with some makeup gain, okay? And that's just a simple way to go ahead and explain it. So let's just go ahead and listen to this vocal real quick. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it off. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. So now I'm going to turn it on and start to affect it. So let's go ahead and move our threshold to, to where we can actually hear the compressor. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, listen to it. It's really bright and negative 50. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. So negative six, I found a really good spot to compress the vocal, okay? Sound, you can hear the compression, it's not over compressed. You can actually hear that it's doing its work, okay? Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, so now you wanna go ahead and set up your ratio, okay? So I'll, I'll have more videos explaining the ratio later, but just basically whatever we compress and whatever we um, uh, kind of reduce down for every uh, dynamic or everything that we, we compress or bring down, we're gonna be able to get one dB back, okay? So I'm just gonna try to simply explain this to it without overthinking. If you wanna see more tutorials, go check those out. So listen to what two to one and a four to one does. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She knows she in control. She got me in my feels. Okay, so if you can hear it, you can tell that four to one uh, is it's gonna be more compressed. It's gonna sound more compressed. Okay, so in this particular case, say if we go up and and take that to a four to one. 
okay now what what we want to do is set the attack we want the attack to be fast so the compression can hit the vocals asap it can um, uh, go go to work asap put it like that okay yeah, I know she we want it to hit it right away we don't want it to hit it uh seconds later we want it to attack the vocals right away fast now i noticed that i like a two to one better with a fast attack so now what we want to do is go ahead and give the makeup gain back okay so this is what we're gonna do yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. That's without it. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. With she it. Know she in control. If you notice, when I turn the compressor back on, the vocal, without it, the compressor is more dynamic. But when the compressor is on, it kind of goes down in volume. And that's because we haven't gave the makeup gain back. So what we want to do is take this knob here and go ahead and compress it back or give the makeup gain back so we can get that loudness or that dynamic back without overdoing it. Okay, so when you turn up the makeup gain and you cut the compressor on and off, you kind of want to shoot for it to basically sound the same without jumping too much in dynamics or volumes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn this up. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. So when you know that you met, so when you know you met your sweet spot is when you go ahead and cut the compressor on and off, okay? If you cut it on and off and it sounds like nothing changed in the in the volume of the vocal or the dynamics in the vocal, then you know you did a good thing, okay? If it sounds too loud, then go ahead and cut back. If it sounds too low, then go ahead and cut the gain up. Yeah, I know she real. The way she take that will. She know she in control. She got me in my feels. So if you can hear the vocal and you notice the vocal just sounds uh, the same, but it sounds tighter. It sounds like it sits better in the mix. And that means that you've reached a good point of compression on that vocal, okay? Now, if you want to add more compression and do more things later, then you definitely can do that if you want. But I'm just letting you know how to find that sweet spot, okay? All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think that this video was beneficial to you? Did it help you out? If so, go ahead and hit that like button right now because I need that. But I really want to know if this type of content helped you guys out in the comment section. I want to interact with you because that's the only thing that I want to make in 2022 is content that's going to help you guys out and hopefully you guys appreciate this type of stuff because I know it's not many people out there that's giving out this type of information but guys I'm just trying to help you grow if you need your songs professionally mixed and mastered radio ready industry standard then hit me up because I will get you right don't try to be the engineer if you ain't the engineer if you want to just mess around with some things or learn some things to go ahead and try to get your music to sound good that's a-okay but if you you want your stuff to sound a1 on point then you definitely should contact me so i can get your songs mixed and mastered go watch my other videos so you can learn more stuff pertaining to audio and all that other jazz okay so as always stay tuned for the next video bust that booty open got her looking like she's soaking about to put my dick up in her mouth and yes i got her choking she got them fishnets with them heels on body banging heads strong i'm almost in her end zone while i'm running through her red zone it's a touchdown Bust that booty open, got her looking like she's soaking About to put my dick up in her mouth and yes I got her choking She got them fishnets with them heels on